let's go ahead and prepare our enamels. Enamel is ground glass, I mentioned that before. Um, and when they make it, what they do is they smelt it, they put in the chemicals to give it the color, it's different elements depending upon the color, then they pour it out into sheets, they crush it, grind it, and they put it through a screen. And the screen they put it through is 80 holes per linear inch. It's a mesh, an 80 mesh screen. When you buy enamels, it's going to be called 80 mesh enamel, and that's what that means. It's been through the screen. You get everything that goes through 80 mesh, from the 80 mesh size particles all the way down to the finest dust. And that really fine dust is called fines. That's an actual enameling term. I'm not making that one up. And you need to get the fines out of the enamel before you use it because it can cause your transparent enamels to be a little bit on the cloudy side. So to make it less cloudy, we're going to get rid of the fines and we're going to do that through a screening process. We're going to be using a 200 mesh screen. That's 200 holes per linear inch. And we're going to go ahead and press it into this pan and the pan is going to catch the fines. I will be putting the enamel in here and a quarter to push the enamel through the screen. And then I'll put another pan on top to keep the dust from getting in the air. Try and remember that this is glass dust and you do not want to breathe it. So it's very important that you wear a mask whenever you're screening enamels. Look for a P95 or an N95 mask that has an exhalation valve and has a seal around the nose and mouth. I'm going to go ahead and put mine on now and then I will screen the enamel. Try not to get it hooked on your earring. There we go. All right, so this is Thompson enamel. I think I already said that. I'm going to just pour some into the screen. And I'm going to add the quarter. And this doesn't actually take very long, maybe 15 or 20 seconds. The quarter really helps a lot. I turn it from time to time to make sure I'm getting a good screening. Sometimes I go back and forth, sometimes around and around. Mix it up. All right, so I've got that screened. A lot of enamel dust will come up when you open that. But you can see there it is. And there's the fines. What we want to use is what's on top of the screen. This is the part that's going to make the really pretty clear enamel. This is the part that we're going to just throw away. And so I'm just going to throw it in the trash. And then I'm going to take a little cup. Let's see, this was 2435 turquoise. I'll write that on the cup. And I'll pour that in there. I'll just tap this out into the trash. And then I'm going to wipe it out with a paper towel. Never get your screens wet. Um, and then I'll just repeat that process for all of the enamels I'm going to use for the project. Prepping for this project is a little bit different than it was for the other two. We're going to be enameling over a texture and we're going to be enameling quite thick and we want to be able to see that texture very, very clearly. You can get a much clearer enamel if you do an extra screening. This is called sizing the enamel. Um, we're going to use a 150 screen and a 325 mesh screen instead of the 200 mesh. And we're going to use the enamel that falls between the two. This will make very fine particles that pack very closely together. Not the fines, but fine particles. So I start out the same way. I'm going to put the larger mesh, the 325, it's kind of counterintuitive. It's 325 holes per linear inch, so they're smaller holes. 
the bigger the number, the finer the screen. I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to put a quarter in there. I'm going to put the 150 on top of that, and I'm going to put another quarter on top of that. Let me go ahead and get my little enamel cup ready. This is 2820 pink. So let me go ahead and get my mask on. I've already taken out my earrings due to an unfortunate mask incident. I'll let you use your imagination. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to put my enamel in there. It might take a little more because I'm going through two screens. I'll have some above and some below. There we go. And now I'm shaking it through two screens. This makes for the very clearest enamel. We can do a little dance. We'll call it the enamel prep dance. I'm smiling, but you can't tell. Okay. All right. On the top screen, we have 150 mesh enamel. That is still good enamel, and we want to save that. We don't want to throw it out. And I'm just going to put it back in the vial. Now here's our 150, 325 mesh enamel. When I say the number like that, it means everything that went through the 150 mesh screen but did not go through the 325 mesh screen. That's the enamel we want to use for this process. I kind of use my fingernails on the lower one and pull with my fingers to pry it out of there. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my cup. And then I'm going to just put this in the trash. I'm going to wipe it out with a dry paper towel so that it's ready for the next one. And then I'm just going to do that for all the enamels I'm going to use for this project. <laughs>